Being able to edit your drum kit is a strong suit of the MPC. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can go into program edit, edit up your sample, and go ahead and get a nice sounding drum kit. Check it out. What's up everybody, my name is Matthew Stratton with NPCSampling.com and on this channel I bring you the best tips and tools for the NPC Live. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. Welcome back to the sampling series. So in the previous video, we went ahead and chopped up our drum break and in this video I'm going to go into menu and then program edit. This way we can edit our sounds inside of the NPC and we can get a nice sounding drum kit. We can customize it to our liking and kind of get a lo-fi feel to this drum kit. Let's go ahead and get right into it. All right, so we changed our polyphony from mono to poly. So that's the first thing that we needed to do. So let's go ahead and make a few more edits on this thing. So we got a few snares. So this snare is really strong. This snare is really strong. This one's not as strong. And then we got a couple kicks. And then we got a hi-hat. Now, you can keep everything as it is, but generally speaking, drum kits, how they're programmed are kicks, snare, hi-hat, kicks, snare you know, maybe a secondary hi-hat. So I'm kind of going to show you how you could do that. All right, so the easiest way to do that is if you go to your menu, to your sample editor, and make sure you're in the programs tab. Now we can access all of our slices. So I can put whatever slice I want on here. So if I tap that, I can change the slice. So I want this slice here. So this is actually slice five. So what I can do is go ahead, tap right here, and select slice five. All right, and then I could tap here, and I can select the next slice, which was this one here. All right, so now I have this kick, which is slice seven on pad five. And then I have slice right here, this slice five on pad one. And I can do that with everything I want. So I want pad eight or slice eight, it's really slice eight to be right here on pad two. So all I can do is select pad two and then right here on slice to scroll through until we see slice eight. So we got that strong kick, that strong snare. Right here we want a hi-hat. So where was the hi-hat? Right here, pad six. So I can select pad three and then go ahead and go to slice six. So we can already see the drum kits coming together. Right here we already have that kick. Right here we want another snare. So where was that snare? So we don't have it in a pad anymore, that other snare, but if you take, you know, you can go through your slices. There's a snare, there's a snare, we found it, all right? And then you can make these whatever you want, like if you, if you actually wanted that tom in here, you could select that tom too, all right? There's that tom. All right, there we go. So now... We could go ahead and play that drum kit. Now there's a couple of edits I want to do, so I'll show you that next. So this first beat is going to have kind of a lo-fi sound, so I want to make this kick kind of more lo-fi, a little less punchy because if you listen, it's really bright, really punchy right now. So let's go ahead and go to menu, program edit. We're on that kick. You can see break, FP, chop. So if you go way over here to filter envelope, we could do a few things with the filter envelope. So right here, we got a low pass filter. If we use this low pass filter, we could filter out some of the high ends and then we could kind of take some of the brightness out. So if you tap that, you can hear how bright that is. But if I keep it on low pass and then mess with the cutoff, I'm going to bring this cutoff down. All right. You can see it's already darker. So if you listen to how bright. All right. And then darker. So I want to do the same thing with this kick. Bright. Darker. Bright. Darker. All right, and then I want to do the same thing with the snare. Boom. All right, already sounding nice. Bring this one down too. All right, and then the hi-hat, bring it down a little bit. Now, there's also another little clip going on in the hi-hat. I want to go ahead and take that out by messing with the amp filter. If I bring that back, it's going to shorten the, the decay of that. 
You see right here, the decay is shortened. If you listen to it long, there's like some extra little click going on in the background so we can get rid of that by making it shorter. So now, if you come back to main, we can go ahead and play this kit. All right, so that's a pretty good sounding kit. So if you're happy with that, you can actually save this by going into your edit here, save current program. And then what you can do is find where you want to save this. Like I could save it right here. I have some other ones. I'll go ahead and save it right there. Now that is the internal drive. I would recommend saving this onto an SD card or a USB drive or, you know, your internal SSD. Um, this is an SD card, so I'm going to save it on here. All right. And then, so I got, I'm in my program folder on my SD card. I want to save it right there. This way, anytime in the future, I could bring this kit up and I don't have to worry about going and chopping it and then spending 15 minutes chopping it up. I, all I have to do is load it up. It takes 10 seconds to load up and then we're good to go. And that's how you go ahead and chop up a kit inside of the MPC Live. Head over to mpcsampling.com if you want more tips about sampling. Click or tap the screen right here if you want to catch up with the previous videos in this series. And it also will give you the next videos in this series. Remember to subscribe, hit the bell icon. This way you get notified when I come out with the new videos. Like this video if you enjoyed it. My name is Matthew. Continue creating music and we'll talk soon.